Well, I figured it was about time to uh, pull the uh, welder out of the back of my truck because every time I'd use it, you'd have to leave the choke on halfway and it didn't run right. And who knows the last time when they change the oil in it. And I figured I'd take it out and clean it up. Uh, it was a son of a bitch getting out of it. It was not, not fun at all. Um, I had a, the idea of taking the uh, um, that like metal tonneau cover there that slides off, but that that didn't work, so I ended up just dragging it out of the back of the truck. As you can tell, it's uh, it's super dirty. It's uh, definitely it was definitely a fire hazard. I mean, look at all the leaves. You get full of leaves in here, and you know it was only a matter of time before that shit caught on fire, and you know burn the whole truck to the ground but uh, that and the exhaust is broken as you can tell it's hanging out so uh, I'll degrease it clean it all up change the oil I gotta see how you adjust the valves on this probably do the valves clean the carb because I don't ever want to take it out again never again that was uh, very difficult I'll show you how I got it out What I was going to do is take all them covers off the top that slide, but uh, that didn't work out. It's too, too, way too many bolts, it's too difficult, so I ended up just taking that cage that was in front of the compressor and the welder there and uh, taking that off and then drag, turning the welder sideways and dragging it across the bed and lifting it out with the crane and setting it in the shop. And uh, yeah, it's packed full of leaves and oil and looks like somebody Last time somebody changed the oil, they just drained it right on the bed. Because there's no way to drain it into a bucket. Stupid. It's really a dumb design, putting it way up in there and not making the top accessible. I mean, there's you couldn't even get at the air compressor. Check the oil in the air compressor or the welder. And uh, since I'm out here, I'll show you the uh, bumper on the front of my truck. As you know, it's all it was all bent and stuff before but I uh, straightened it out as best as I could I uh, painted it put a little sticker on there who knows I might take the sticker off once I get a license plate I uh, lost the other license plate for it so it's only a matter of time before I get caught so I gotta hurry up and get a get a license plate but uh, it's pretty straight all the way across paint came out alright you know this one right here was touch almost touching the tire and uh, I was all crooked and I was gonna add some more tow hooks to it but I'll eventually uh, I want to build like a uh, one of the big push bumpers you know if I ever got to push a dump truck or something off the road I don't have to worry about it but uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it I am uh, looking at some tires for the front I want to put some like floater tires on the front some wide ones I think it'll look better and maybe uh, Maybe a little bit of uh, some blocks in the front because right now it slopes down to the front. I kind of want to level it up. Looks kind of stupid looking. 